welcome to Southern California's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. This is your cover by in LA. Happy Friday. It's TGIF. Thank God it's Friday, but you always hear me say this. Here on cover by in LA, TGIF also means thank God I am Filipino. And all the more today, you're going to be thankful because we're going to introduce you to our cover by. And actually, she needs no further introduction because she is an accomplished performer in the Philippines, also very sought after. But she turned her back uh, on that and she went and tried her luck in Las Vegas and oh my gosh she actually broke out in Las Vegas had one of the longest running shows there as well and she's doing so great now pero mabuti po na binisita niya tayo dito sa Kababayan LA in Los Angeles makikipagkamustahan po tayo sa kanya mamaya Miss Lani Misalucha watch out for, for her later on in the show and speaking of luck alam nyo ba if you're feeling like you know bad luck is always haunting you or following you in the Taiwanese culture there is a way to improve your luck all you need to do is is eat a certain dish. At yan po ang natutunan ko as we traveled to Taiwan just recently. Let's watch this. And you think you need to go to San Francisco just to get to the Fisherman's Wharf? Think again because they have that here in Taiwan, Fisherman's Wharf, more particularly in the old town of Dan Shui. And Alan here is going to talk to us about the uniqueness of this place, Alan. What is so unique about this place? Well, Fisherman's Wharf is, uh, the, is built uh, to attract uh, the people to come here to uh, relax. But uh, it is a pity that it's uh, a little bit away from the city. So the most of the time you only see the crowd uh, on Sundays, on Saturdays. The rest of the days it's empty, but still it is uh, very attractive because the local people know that there is a good restaurant here. And uh, if they come here, they can order uh, what they want to eat. For, for example, they can choose fresh seafood here and have the chef cook it and they also they have a sushi bar over there things like that it is very attractive and also can i ask you it's not just the seafood that's fresh here apparently the vegetables as well for some reason cabbage is sweeter or even different veggies different greens are sweeter here why is that okay you know that uh, we used to, to call this island Pao Dao, which means a precious island yeah, we have a very good vegetable and we have very good uh, fruit. So the, the, come here, enjoy the food. And enjoy we did. One dish came after the other to complete a seven-course meal, which we all thought would never end. We were so stuffed, but we couldn't stop eating because it was so delicious. Too precious to go to waste. See for yourself. This is a uh, pork leg, and uh, pork leg is very special. Whenever we eat, uh, uh, we want to improve our luck, we eat pork leg. Pork leg is uh, so uh, so popular. Every family, for example, when they have a celebration for somebody's birthday, they cook a pork leg with uh, rice noodle, and then uh, they offer people to have a, have an egg. That is that is the when they have a celebration for birthday. Okay, this is what we call yubeng in uh, Hokkien language, and uh, it is also popular uh, in, uh, in Taiwan. Uh, this is also the used uh, at a special uh, ce celebration. For example, if you give birth to a, uh, to a boy, in order to celebrate it, the housewife will uh, cook a lot of yubeng oil, oil rice, and beside that, they will prepare some chicken that is called, uh, cooked in uh, sesame oil, sesame uh, chicken, and uh, yubeng. They, they will distribute their dish to the neighbors, so that the neighbors celebrate together. So when you are having this, you know that somebody is uh, having a boy. And now, the moment of truth, so the verdict. Which one, which dish is your favorite and why? Starting with Jerry. All right, yes. Uh, there are two dishes that I really, really like. First, this is rice cooking oil. And the second one is the fish. That's two of my favorites. Okay, very fresh. All right. I, I only like the rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favorite is the fish. What kind of fish is it? Is it? We were debating about 
Red snapper or rock cod? <laughs> and the clam. I like to steam fish best of all because I feel like I'm in Redondo, California. <laughs> I like the red snapper. It's very tasty. Uh, I, I like the uh, shrimp. It's very fresh. And also I like the veggie. It's very good for your health. I like the fish, I mean the fried rice, oily. Oily fried rice. <laughs> And uh, now that I know about the pork leg, the pork leg, I'll be eating it so I could win the lotto. <laughs> well, basically, I like everything, and most of all is the crab. And what do you call that fried rice? Yubung. That's what I really want. But I love everything. The beauty of this Taiwan tour is that all meals are included. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And because Taiwan is very famous for its exotic cuisine, we all knew from day one alone that we were all in for a treat. And you are too because we are all sharing our Taiwan experiences and adventures with you here on Kababai in L.A. Keep watching. We have more of the sights and sounds of Taiwan for you in the coming days here on Kababai in LA. Naku, masarap pa pong mas marami pang masarap na pagkain, mas marami pang mga magagandang tanawin, and also a lot of shopping as well. Watch out for that in the coming days here on the show. But meanwhile, when we return on Kababai in LA, Miss Lani, Miss Salucha, don't go away.